Hey guys, my name is True, and I want to sort of share my heart about this very popular hashtag, Pray for Paris. And I want to start off by saying that what has happened in Paris and the restaurants and at the concert is not limited to Paris. As many of you guys are discovering, it's actually happening all around the globe. Not only is it limited to what's going around in the globe, as, as this is one isolated ISIS movement, it's actually happened in different time periods. We've seen Pray for Mexico, which was a natural disaster. We've seen Pray for Boston with the Boston bombings, um, you know, obviously 9-11. Um, this has happened many times in history, and there is something about calamity. There's something about natural disaster. There's something about these heinous crimes taking place that is a stimulus for the same reaction within every human being, including the secularists, and that is to pray. Everyone is praying. It's the natural response, and no one knows exactly necessarily who they're praying to or what they're praying to. And that's the question that I wanted to ask you guys today. Who are you praying to? Who are you praying to? The answer to that question determines everything about the response that you are going to get. I personally am not praying to a distant, non-responsive, unloving, uninterested deity of religions. I'm praying to the God that I know intimately that sent his son Jesus Christ to come and experience the pain that people are feeling all around the globe in its fullest on the cross. That is who I am praying to. And what I'm praying for is for peace. The reason why I'm praying for peace is one, that's what God promises us, is peace. We are the eye of the storm as the storm is still taking place, as the bombs are still taking place, as the natural disasters are taking place, as these crimes are taking place. We are the peaceful eye of the storm through prayer. And the reason why we ought to be praying for peace is yes, we should be praying for monetary support, especially if the breadwinners of those families were lost in the calamity. And yes, we should be praying for community, but most importantly, there is something about these disasters and something about the pain that is experienced by every individual that loses a loved one that brings them to a dark and lonesome, painful hour. And it's in that moment that they most desperately need what the Bible describes as the peace that surpasses all understanding, that eye of the storm. So I wanna encourage you guys to continue praying because prayer does change things. I've seen it in my life and I've seen it in those around me. Prayer does in fact change things. But the question that I wanna leave you guys with is who are you praying to? Because that will make all the difference. Thank you guys so much for watching and God bless.